Hi everyone, it's me, Jennifer. Welcome if you are new and welcome back if you are returning. So before we get into the video today, I want to put a disclaimer in right here. Everything I'm about to say is merely my opinion. I do not mean to harm anyone with my opinion. I do not mean to harm any companies. I mean no harm to anyone with my opinion. This is merely my thoughts. So with that, let's get into the video. So if you haven't noticed, behind me today we have a special guest. It is the 60 year anniversary of Disneyland Mini. I am a huge Disney fan, if you haven't noticed. I always have these pink ears right behind me in all my videos, but my head might normally block it. So the changes coming to Splash Mountain it hits really hard to me because I love Disney, I love the parks. I used to be an annual pass holder at Disneyland for two years and actually I was supposed to be a Walt Disney World cast member on their Disney College program. Right now, before it got canceled due to the coronavirus, I was in the Fall Advantage group, which is the one that got canceled. So I was really sad about it, but safety first. But even though I can't be there, I can talk about the changes that are coming. So Disney just announced that they are changing Splash Mountain to a Princess and the Frog ride. I am really excited for this update. I know it is a classic, but unfortunately that ride is based on an incredibly racist Disney film called Song of the South. I have never personally seen Song of the South myself and I don't know how much access there is to see that movie from the research I've done, but here's kind of what I got about the movie from my research. It's about this little boy and he moves and lives on his grandma's plantation and befriends the workers and it's supposedly takes place after the Civil War, but it feels very pre-Civil War, according to what I'd read, and it basically glorifies slave life. So, yeah. But Splash Mountain is this little, not little, it's this log ride that takes you four people sitting in Disneyland, and you go through and you see the animated characters from the movie Song of the South, including Briar Rabbit, Fox, and Bear, and you go on a journey and you see all the other creatures, and Fox is trying to eat Briar Rabbit throughout the ride, and then when he's about to eat Briar Rabbit, that's when you have the big drop, and then he doesn't succeed, and that's when you get the song Zippity Doodah at the end, which is also from Song of the South, and all the animals are cheering because Briar Rabbit wasn't eaten by the fox and he won and he outsmarted the fox. So that's that's basically what the ride is. There's a lot more I could go in depth to, but that's just a general overview. So what they're doing is they are changing it from that theme to Princess and the Frog. I love the Princess and the Frog movie myself. And I think Tiana is one of the few Disney princesses that is actually a good role model for girls. She's hardworking. She pulls herself up by her own bootstraps. Like she has goals. She doesn't, unlike the other princesses, her goal is not to get a man. She doesn't want a man. And Naveen, who is the prince, is lazy throughout a good portion of the movie. And Tiana's the one who's trying to fix the problem. And she's the one who's kind of leading and doing everything and I just think she's a really good role model for girls so I'm really happy she's getting a ride. The I enjoy the whole movie and so I'm really excited. Apparently this ride is set to take place after the movie, not during the movie, so which is different from a lot of their other rides based off Disney movies. So I think it's going to be interesting to see how they do it. One of my favorite things that I've kind of seen people talking about on the internet, which isn't going to happen because it is after the movie, is that it's the song Are You Ready 
being played as you're going up right before that drop and so I think that would have built so much tension and been cool but it's after the movie so that's not happening but I've also seen a lot of people complain that it doesn't fit the theme of the land I because it's in Frontierland for those of you who don't know I can't speak for Walt Disney World because I haven't been there in a bit but in Disneyland Frontierland is right next to New Orleans Square, so I think it works because if anything, it'll just make New Orleans Square seem extended because if I'm remembering right, it's right kind of next to the Haunted Mansion, so it will just almost be extending New Orleans Square. I think Princess and the Frog is one of two Disney movies and I hesitate to call this other character a princess. I'm not sure if she's a princess, but um, based on a princess, that would work. The only other movie I think that might have worked in that area would have been Pocahontas, and that might have been cool too. It could have been like just around the river bend, but I really like the Tiana theme. I think it really goes with where it is in the park. I think she deserves a ride. Right now she basically just has the Mark Twain Riverboat at Disneyland and that's it. So I think she deserves a ride. I think Disney made a good choice by switching it. And I know a lot of people are sad because Splash Mountain is a classic, but we shouldn't have something that's a classic stay for classic sake when it comes from something which is a terrible message and that isn't something we should be teaching kids rather than glorifying that you know I'm happy that they're now glorifying Zootopia which is something that one of the articles I read did compare Song of the South to because Zootopia did a really good job of ex like boiling it down into a way kids could understand but I think Zootopia did a good job of explaining race and I'm happy that they're starting to glorify that and have those characters in, while they're in California Adventure and not Disneyland like these characters. I'm happy they're trying to have positive characters in now, but I'm really happy about the change and I think it's going to be fun and I've asked a few other people I know who are huge Disney fans and they all had positive reactions. So I think it's going to be interesting to see how the ride turns out. Um, I hope I'm going to be in Disney World when it gets completed because I really want to go on the Disney College program still so I am going to apply again and so I really hope I get to see it in person while working at Disney World. I want to hear down below what's your guys' opinion on this ride. Are you sad to lose Splash Mountain? Are you really excited for the Princess and the Frog ride?